We have the, we come down from the frog on to that, the polywog and on down and on and so and so. You finally come to the monkey, to the chimpanzee, and from the chimpanzee, now we jump from the chimpanzee to the human. And we wonder why. Well, science says, now wait, we can breed the woman to the monkey or to the fancy to the vice versa, a man breed to the chimpanzee. It won't work. Breed it to any other animal, it won't work. Blood won't mix. Take your blood, that's altogether different blood altogether. There's some blood between here and they can't find the animal. Oh, I'm getting to feel religious right now. Notice why God hid it from him. It ain't a bone in a snake that looks like a human bone. He put the thing so far away that it couldn't be discovered by a smart man. Now I'm going to show you where that smart man comes from, where, he, where he's at anyhow. See, he can't come to that. It's got to come by revelation. Dark the Christ the Son of the on this rock I'll build my church and the gates of hell can't prevail against it. Spiritual revelation. How did, how did Abel know to offer a lamb instead of Cain offering the fruits of the field? It was spiritually revealed to him. You don't get it by seminaries. You don't get it through denominations. You get it from heaven. Amen. Now, watch the serpent. This serpent, which was first... Let's draw a picture of him now. He's a great big fellow. He's between the chimpanzee and the man. And the serpent, the devil, Lucifer, knew that that was the only blood that would mix with this human blood. The only person he could deal with. He couldn't deal with the chimpanzee. That blood wouldn't mix. He couldn't deal with different things. He couldn't deal with the sheep. He couldn't deal with the horse. He couldn't deal with any animal. He had to deal with this Serpent. Let's take him now and see what he looks like. He's a great big fellow. Prehistoric giant. That's where they find these big bones. And I'll show you this in the Bible. Now watch closely. All right. This great big fellow, let's say he, he was ten foot tall. Great big shoulders. Looked just like a man. And his blood, after coming down, coinciding one animal to another, you cross animals. And it kept getting higher blood, higher form of life, higher form. They climbed from up into the man realm. But the last connection here between here was cut off. How many knows that science can't find the missing link? All of you know that. Why? Here he is. The serpent. Here he was, the great big fellow. And the devil comes down. Now he says, I can't inspire now, when you go to looking at women and acting at women, remember, you are anointed of the devil. It's not your own wife. Notice. Now, the devil come down and got into this serpent, and he found Eve in the Garden of Eden naked. And he talked about the fruit in the midst. The midst means middle and so forth. You understand, in a mixed congregation. And he said, now it's pleasant. It's good to the eye. What did he do? He began making love to Eve. And he lived with her as a husband. And she saw it was pleasant, so she went and told her husband, but she's already pregnant by Satan. And she brought forth her first son, whose name was Cain, the son of Satan. Now you say that's wrong. All right, we'll just find out whether it's wrong or not. And I will put in between thy seed and the serpent's seed. What? The serpent seed. She had a seed and he had a seed. And he shall bruise thy head and you shall bruise his heel. And a bruise there means to make an atonement. Now there's your seed of the serpent. Now notice. Here comes these two men out. Now this serpent, when he stood there, this great big giant of a fellow... Stood up there, he was guilty of committing adultery with Adam's wife. Where sin lay today? 